1977 TV series 8 is enough holds a special place in the hearts of many, offering a captivating glimpse into the lives of the Bradford family. As we explore this iconic show, one can't help but wonder about the favorite roles portrayed by its talented cast, or uncover lesser known facts that add depth to the series. Out of the many roles in this TV series, which one was your favorite? Are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about this TV series that fascinate you? We invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to 8 is enough in the comments below. We would love to hear your stories and memories. Let's dive into the world of 8 is enough and discover the hidden gems that make this series truly unforgettable. 8 is enough, a beloved TV series from 1977, was born from the pages of the memoir written by Thomas Braddon. The show revolved around the life of columnist Tom Bradford, a widow raising his eight children in Sacramento, California. This heartwarming family drama, known for its wholesome and relatable storytelling, featured a diverse array of characters, each with their unique personalities and struggles. The Bradford family faced everyday challenges, from teenage rebellion to sibling rivalry, all while dealing with the absence of their mother. The show's iconic characters, like the wise and understanding Tom Bradford and the rebellious but endearing Nicholas, resonated with audiences. Eight is enough left an indelible mark on popular culture, thanks to its realistic portrayal of family life and the universal themes of love, growth, and resilience. It offered a glimpse into the challenges and triumphs of a large, blended family, making it relatable to a wide audience. The series set a standard for family-oriented television, influencing many subsequent shows with its genuine, character-driven storytelling. Eight is Enough stands as a timeless example of the power of family bonds, making it a cherished classic in the world of television. The 1977 TV series 8 is Enough had an interesting evolution in its theme song. During the first couple of seasons, it used an instrumental theme, but later, a new theme song with lyrics was written and sung by Grant Goodev, who portrayed the character David. Goodev even sang the theme song in one episode. This change added a different flavor to the show as it progressed. As for the characters, in the first four seasons, the writing staff evenly distributed screen time among the Bradford family members. However, by the final season, the character Tommy, played by Willie Arms, gained immense popularity among adolescent females. This led to him being featured in nearly every episode, which resulted in the reduced presence of regulars like Grant Goodev, Susan Richardson, and Lanny O'Grady in the plots. O'Grady's character was particularly affected, almost disappearing from the show, and Goodev was frustrated with his peripheral role, eventually convincing the writers to divorce David and Janet to return to the show's core. An interesting tidbit about the show is that the character of David Bradford was originally played by Mark Hamill, who is famous for his role in Star Wars, Episode IV A New Hope, which was released in the same year the show began. This show had its share of changes and adaptations over its run, making it an intriguing piece of television history. The 1977 TV series 8 is Enough was based on the 1975 autobiographical account of newspaper editor and columnist Thomas Braddon, who co-hosted CNN's Crossfire. In the TV adaptation, they changed the name from Braddon to Bradford to make it sound more all-American and less ethnic. However, the first name of the book's hero, Tom, and the first names of the mother and the eight children remained the same. The show revolved around the Bradford family and their experiences, offering a glimpse into the challenges and joys of a large, close-knit family. Notably, Mary, one of the Bradford children, attended the University of California at Berkeley for her medical training, showcasing the pursuit of individual dreams within the family dynamic. The show gained popularity for its relatable portrayal of family life and the various characters' unique journeys. Tragically, one of the show's cast members, Lanny O'Grady, who portrayed one of the Bradford children, was the younger sister of Don Grady, known for his role as Robbie Douglas on My Three Sons, another popular family sitcom. Both Lanny and Don faced untimely deaths, with Lanny succumbing to a drug overdose in 2001 and Don passing away from cancer in 2012. Eight is Enough remains a significant part of television history, reflecting the cultural landscape and family dynamics of the late 1970s. Its blend of drama and comedy alongside its memorable characters continues to be remembered by fans of classic TV shows. 
1977 TV series 8 is enough featured the character Nicholas as a common thread in every lead-in before the main title sequence. This structural element provided continuity to the show. The character Tom Bradford, a central figure in the series, was ranked number 33 in TV Guide's list of the 50 greatest TV dads of all time. This highlights the impact of the character on the audience. Additionally, Abby's first husband, Frank Abbott, met a tragic end in the Vietnam War, adding a layer of depth to the show's storyline. These aspects contributed to the series' appeal and lasting influence. The death of Diana Highland during the production of the spring 1977 episodes forced major changes on the show. She had completed only four episodes as the mother of the family and was written out of the remainder as being away. When the series returned with new episodes that fall, Tom Bradford had become a widower, his wife having died about a year ago. This unexpected event altered the course of the 1977 TV series 8 is Enough. Diana Highland's passing necessitated a significant shift in the storyline. She played the role of the family's matriarch, but her untimely death led to the character's absence. When the show resumed in the fall, viewers found Tom Bradford as a widower, coping with the loss of his wife approximately a year prior. This development not only impacted the plot, but also the dynamics of the Bradford family, as they navigated life without their mother. It was a challenging and emotional transition for both the characters and the audience. The series managed to adapt to this unexpected turn of events, showing the resilience and creativity of the show's creators and cast. The loss of Diana Highland and the subsequent changes in the show added a layer of depth and authenticity to Eight is Enough, resonating with viewers as they followed the Bradford family through their trials and tribulations. In the end, the sudden loss of Diana Highland became an integral part of the show's history, demonstrating the flexibility of television production and the ability to respond to unforeseen circumstances in a meaningful way. As we bid farewell to the captivating world of the 1977 TV series 8 is enough, it's impossible not to feel a wave of nostalgia wash over us. This timeless show, with its endearing Bradford family, has left an indelible mark on our hearts. But now, it's your turn to shine. As the credits roll and the screen fades to black, take a moment to reflect on your personal connection with this remarkable series. Did you grow up with it, cherishing those family moments as if they were your own? Or perhaps you stumbled upon it more recently, drawn in by its charm and the enduring family values it embodies. This is your chance to share your favorite memories, thoughts, or anecdotes about Eight is Enough. Maybe it's a heartwarming scene that brought a tear to your eye, a character whose journey resonated with you, or the life lessons you've carried with you through the years. Your experiences make this show come alive in a whole new way. We invite you to drop your insights and memories in the comments, forging a collective tribute to this classic series. Let's celebrate the magic of storytelling and how it has the power to unite us across time and space. Thank you for taking the time to join us on this nostalgic journey through 8 is Enough. Your thoughts and memories are what keep the spirit of this show alive, and we're grateful for your time and interest. 